Good morning, Quidditch fans. It's Wednesday, and right behind me is Lincoln Center. It's, this is one of the premier performing arts facilities in the world. Um, this is where the New York Philharmonic performs, where the Metropolitan Opera performs. This, this is the Metropolitan Opera House right in front of, right in front of you, right over here. One of the premier performing arts buildings in the entire planet is right here in my city. Um, and seeing an opera there is pretty incredible. I've actually seen two. I've seen Cosi Fantuti and I've seen Nixon in China, um, an English production by um, the composer John Adams. And I, I, I greatly enjoyed that one. I got to go behind the scenes of that one for an internship. I'll put a video to stuff I do with that in the doobly do. But this was actually put together by Robert Moses, who was a visionary man, but a very polarizing figure in New York City's history. He was responsible for the Brooklyn Queens Expressway, the Cross Bronx Expressway, Jones Beach. He was large part responsible for the 1964 World's Fair, the construction of Shea Stadium, and this incredible complex. Uh, this is where the New York Philharmonic performs, the Metropolitan Opera, the New York City Ballet. The New York City Opera did perform here for a time in the building right behind me, formerly known as the New York State Theater, now the David H. Koch Theater. Uh, they've since left for other pastors, not necessarily greener. Um, right over here in back of me is Avery Fisher Hall, where the New York Philharmonic performs. Um, also on the complex, there's Damrosh Park Bandshell, right over to my right, and this is where Lincoln Center Out of Doors takes place over the summer. A lot of free concerts. I got to see a, um, a Mavis Staples show the other day. Um, and it's truly a wonderful place to be, and this is really my favorite place in New York City because there's so much going on in the way of art and of culture and of history. And it's also one of the few places where you can get away with singing in public. Uh, largely because the Juilliard School, um, I believe that's the building over there, uh, and the building right behind it, uh, Alice Tully Hall, is where much of the Juilliard School is, along with the nice little slanted building with the berm on top. And this is really one of my favorite, this is my favorite place in the city right here, the Upper West Side, my favorite section of New York City. And this is actually, part of a, um, a series I plan on doing next year. I plan on, I'm planning on doing a, um, a daily vlog uh, going through New York City. I'm prospectively calling it in honor of E.B. White's essay. Uh, and it's just a title that I love. I haven't read the essay yet. I'd love to, um, but I've read parts of it. And it's called Here is New York. And it gives a description of New York in, in E.B. White's time upon moving there. And that's something I, I, I would want to do. But so, so here's my idea. For one year, I'm going to do a daily video, not terribly long, showing a different part of New York City. It doesn't have to necessarily be a historic or memorable site. It'll just be an idea, a concept about New York. And it would be, again, every day, uh, much in the way of, um, of Zay Frank. Uh, who is one of my inspirations. But well, how, what do you think about that? And Osseo Nerds viewers, what do you think we should do for 100 videos and beyond?